Parliament enacted the Imposition of Restrictions Act, um, Act 1012, which gives the President the power to impose some restrictions as part of the COVID-19 response program. Uh, the imposition of those restrictions is done through an executive instrument. And so the first executive instrument, EI-64, closed Ghana's borders effectively uh, for a two-week period. This was so that we'll be able to curtail any risk of um, importation of the COVID-19 virus into Ghana. That first imposition runs or elapses on the 5th of April. And therefore, the president has issued a new executive instrument, EI-66, that from midnight April 5, and for the next two weeks, Ghana's borders will remain closed. Um, in the meantime, goods are exempted from this, and therefore goods can come in or leave the Ghanaian jurisdiction. It must be also understood that there's a difference between the closure of our borders and the restrictions of movement within Greater Accra and Greater Kumasi, which some people describe as a lockdown. The two are different. It is only the closure of the borders to human traffic that has been renewed for two more weeks. And we're all encouraged to take note accordingly.